Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of quartic equations, we are going to solve one biquadratic equation which is x power 4 minus x cube plus 2x square plus x equal to negative 3. We have to find out four solutions, whether it is real or complex. So let me write, let me begin this problem by writing all the terms towards left. So I will write x power 4 minus x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 3 equal to 0. The noticeable point which we should notice the leading coefficient is 1, leading coefficient is 1 equal to 1 and constant coefficient or free term it is called constant coefficient is 3. So how I can get 3? Either both the terms, let me write first, split this quadratic equation into two brackets, two quadratic brackets. So let me write, I am going to consider x square plus ax, let me write this one is plus 1, x square plus bx plus 3. Important point is plus 3 plus 1. Once we are having both numbers having same sign, then we will get plus 3, this number. Same sign, so I will, second approach I will consider x square plus cx minus 1 times x square plus dx minus 3. See, both ways are eligible ways. We can consider this way also. We can consider this way also. Now, let's verify. I am going to take the product in both the cases. Okay, if I will write it in the product form, then x power 4 plus a plus b x cube plus a b plus 4 x square plus 3a plus b times x plus 3. Okay, now what I will do, I will simply equate all the terms coefficients. So, equation framing is there. I will write a plus b equal to negative 1. Now, the coefficient of x square if I will compare, then a b plus 4, I will get 2. 3a plus b, the coefficient of x, I will get 1. Constant is 3 equal to 3. Now, you can say it is system of equation with three equations. So, I have to solve. Let me consider my equation numbers are there. Let me write this is my 1, 2, 3. Now, I am going to write 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1, then I will get in the LHS 2A. RHS would be 2. From here, I am getting a equal to 1. So, I will put in 2, equation number 2. So, ab plus 4 equal to 2. Let me put a equal to 1. So, b plus 4 equal to 2. So, b is equal to negative 2. So, out of first system of equation, we are having a1. So, I will put here a equal to 1 and I will put here b equal to minus 2. So, my quartic equation which was of degree 4, it will be converted into two brackets. Each bracket is of quadratic in nature. So, let me write the equation x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus 2x plus 3. This is we will solve for x values. Now come to the second part where we are having both constant terms negative because in that case also minus 1 times minus 3 is also plus 3. Okay. Now let's frame the equation here. So I will get x cube 
x power 4 after expanding these two brackets we will have this quartic equation now simply by comparing the coefficient term with the original one we will frame the equation so c plus d equal to negative 1 as you can see here coefficient is negative 1 here coefficient is c plus d so i will write c plus d equal to negative 1 similarly cd minus 4 is equal to 2 you can see the coefficient of x square third term third equation will be 3c plus d equal to negative 1 okay again i will give number 1 2 3 okay if i will take away 1 from 3 then i will have 3c minus c so 2c so let me write here 3 minus 1 i am doing equation 3 minus 1 okay so 2c is equal to 0 that means c is equal to 0 okay now if i will put c equal to 0 in equation number 2 see what will happen 0 minus 4 equal to 2 so ultimately minus 4 is equal to 2 is coming out which is incorrect which cannot be possible so what we will write this system of equation this system of equation is inconsistent so no solution from this set of equations so we will write here no solution so what totality in totality what we are getting x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus 2x plus 3 would be the correct factorization of the given quartic equation so we have to only solve x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0 now we will solve both the quadratic equation so let me write because of product is 0 so x square plus x plus 1 must be 0 or x square minus 2x plus 3 would be 0 so i am taking this quadratic equation x must be equal to minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root b square so 1 square 1 minus 4 ac negative 4 over 2a so 2 negative 1 plus minus what i will write minus 3 over 2 now we know that this minus 1 is i so i will write minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2 now come to second equation x square minus 2x plus 3 let me write here x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0 x must be equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square so 4 minus 4ac so 12 over 2a so 2 2 plus minus it would be negative root 8 over 2 2 plus minus i will write again same thing minus 1 we will write i so it will become i times root 8 is 4 times 2 so 2 root 2 over 2 so i will get 1 plus minus i root 2 okay so we are having four complex solutions let me write here x is equal to minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2 this was our first two complex solution from the first quadratic equation and the remaining two solutions from the second quadratic equation it was 1 plus minus i root 2 so these are the complex solutions or you can say the overall solution for the given quartic equation right here see this problem if you will attempt using synthetic division or any other method because of your solutions are all complex a plus ib form x plus i y form you won't get direct base solution direct base root because 
in synthetic division or remainder theorem you need to know the very first solution so from where you will find out the very first solution if it is not integer if it is not fractional value if it is not real number then that is tough job i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video and please do take care of yourself